I'd like to thank Sages for the opportunity to present our work today. This is our disclosure slide. Recent surgical innovations such as minimally invasive surgery and fast track surgery are advocated on the basis that they enhance recovery. However, recovery has neither been consistently defined nor measured, and for this reason, there are few specific validated tools for this construct. Length of stay has commonly been used as an indicator of recovery. However, it may not be the optimal one since it can often be influenced by healthcare or administrative factors. And this is particularly the case for short-stay surgery where patients are in hospital for less than 24 hours. We feel recovery is a complex process encompassing a variety of domain, domains, physical, psychological, and social, in, involved in quality of life. Thus, it was our objective to describe the trajectory of recovery after short-stay abdominal surgery using measures of physical activity and quality of life. Patients undergoing scheduled short-stay abdominal surgery were enrolled in our study and were evaluated at three time points, preoperatively, three weeks, and two months postoperatively using CHAMPS, a physical activity questionnaire, and SF36, a well-known quality of life questionnaire. CHAMPS is a 41-item physical activity questionnaire, which asks patients about their level of physical activity in the previous week. This is a typical question seen here. It converts their responses into a caloric expenditure for the week, or kilocalories per week. The questionnaire covers a wide range of activities, uh, including a wide range of intensities, anything from light housework to more vigorous activities like sports. Previous evidence has been provided by our group for the construct and longitudinal validity of CHAMPS as a measure of surgical recovery. Thus, during our study period, there was a total of 132 patients undergoing scheduled short-stay abdominal surgery. The most common procedures included inguinal hernia repair, laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Other procedures included laparoscopic splenectomy and lapadrenalectomy. As a group, patients return to their baseline level of physical activity at three weeks. At two months, patients increased, uh, increased above their baseline level of physical activity, as measured by CHAMPS, and this was statistically significant. The trends are noticeable, again, in the, uh, in the subscales of the SF36, measuring quality of life, in which the physical, mental, and social domains, patients Patients returned to their baseline scores at three weeks and improved above their baseline scores by two months. And again, this is summarized here in the physical and mental component scores of the SF36. Now, when we compared patients to their own baseline, we see that about 50% of patients were back to or above their baseline levels of physical activity at three weeks. However, at two months, there remained a significant proportion, up to about a third, who were still well below their level of uh, below their baseline levels of physical activity. We performed multivariate logistic regression in order to identify predictors of recovery, and we found age, the presence of a complication, and one's baseline level of physical activity to be predictive of recovery, such that a patient that was older had had a complication or who was more active had a higher level of physical activity preoperatively was less likely to be back to their baseline at three weeks. At two months, only one's preoperative level of physical activity was significant for their return to baseline, such that, again, a patient who was more active preoperatively was less likely to be back to their baseline by two months. In summary, we feel recovery is a complex process encompassing a variety of domains. There's significant variability in the trajectories of patients after short-stay abdominal surgery. As a group, patients return to their baseline at three weeks and improve above their baseline at two months. However, there remains a significant proportion of patients who have suboptimal recovery even at two months. Predictors of recovery identified in our analysis included age, the presence of complication, and one's baseline level of physical activity. 
Finally, measures of physical activity and health-related quality of life provide complementary inf information and better reflect the variability in trajectories of recovery after surgery. Thank you very much.